New at five, on the heels of Gilbert Unified announcing staff cuts next year because of a drop in enrollment, we're finding out why the state is seeing drops in attendance. It is typical for a student to transfer, but it's another thing for them just to disappear off the map, and that's exactly what's happening. Many districts are asking, where did they go? Team 12's Joe Dana has the surprising answers for one district. During this pandemic, the Peoria Unified School District is literally knocking on doors to find out where the students have gone. A rescue effort underway. Any strategy that, that is successful. To find the lost students of Peoria Unified. We want to make sure that students have access to education. Social worker Kathleen Leonard and a dozen school employees are making phone calls and knocking doors to find out why some students aren't in school. Some of the reasons, heartbreaking. Some of our students ended up, we realized that we're homeless and didn't know that they could come back to school and that we could provide transportation. Other students had medical concerns or learning disabilities and they didn't realize that they could still get services. In other words, students already at a disadvantage may be at a greater risk of dropping out. In all, Peoria Unified is down just over 2,000 students compared to last year, a 6% drop in enrollment. Neighboring Deer Valley Unified School District has seen a worse drop of 11 percent. It's a trend statewide. I think all school districts have recognized that there is a, a population of, of students who, uh, who, who we, we haven't been able to make contact with. Peoria Superintendent Dr. Jason Reynolds says the district decided to deploy social workers to homes to back up its motto. And that is every student every day prepared to shape tomorrow. And when we say every, we mean every. Recapturing students also brings dollars to the district. Funding is based on enrollment. And state law requires students to attend school until they're at least 16. Peoria reports 22 students have returned because of the efforts of social workers. For Kathleen, making sure families know their options is its own reward. It feels amazing. It feels like we've done our due diligence, that we're reaching out to these families to give them a second chance. There are other reasons for the drop in enrollment. Peoria Unified tells us the families of 500 kindergartners held off from enrolling this year and plan to enroll next year. Also, enrollment is up at some charter schools and for homeschooling. Joe Dana, 12 News.